Hi there, AJ. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Oh, look where you are. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm actually going to be, uh, I've been, I've fed all of my tanks except for this one. This is my semi-aggressive tank with my peat puffers and uh, a couple of killifish. And uh, there were just, you know, they've been, usually I give them snails. But today I thought I'd give them something different for them to chase. And I thought I'd share that with you. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, that sounds really good. Um, so what we're doing is we're feeding live food. You know, it's one thing to raise live food. It's another to use it for its intended purpose, which is as food for our fish. So what do you, what do you got to feed them? AJ. I'm going to give them some scuds. Now there's already scuds in this tank. I know that. Um, but they're really good at hiding. So I'm going to give them some scuds that are like out in the open. They're, I'm just going to throw a bunch of scuds in there. And before these scuds can get their bearings or run away, the uh, pea puffers and the killifish will be right on them. All right. Fun to watch. Okay. So show us, show us what you got. You so, have harvested. Now, how did you harvest them? Um, really through a turkey baster. I just, um, and I threw a bit of hornwort in some clear water and I just took a, a turkey baster and it was in one of my, it was in my blackworm cultures. And I, I tried to, I didn't mean for it to happen, but they, the scud population exploded, but it didn't seem to affect the blackworms. So, okay. um, what I'm going to, there's several, there's a hundred in here at least. Um, so, and it's hard to see. So, Pro tip, when you're borrowing your husband's uh, whiskey glass, <laughs> make sure he's not home. Right. Ah. Um, so I'm going to take just that little bit of hornwort. I'm going to shake it or put it like sh shake it in here so you guys will have, I mean, that's all I'm going to do is like take a little plant that I know that they've been clinging to. I'm going to shake it up in here and that way you'll be able to see exactly. Okay, how bring, bring that glass right up to the camera and let's mm. do that. Perfect. Okay. This is going to be fun. Um, Cause I'm literally having to balance several things at once. So um, let me put it down for a second. I have no choice. I have to and go. All right. Oh my, look at them all. Yeah, thanks. And I'm not even getting them all. Like they, these suckers can cling, but uh, I'm gonna put that back. So there's probably about oh my gosh, about thirty. And there's small ones too, but there's big ones. There's a couple of breeding pairs in here, which is fine. Move, so, move it over more in front of the cat. There we go. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Great. Yeah. So I'm going to put these bait. Oh my God. There's like a million of them. I'm going to put these right in the tank. And obviously this is a little snail. I don't think any of them will object to that snail. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, Go for it. Yeah. They're the end. Um, we're going to, like I said, we're going to put it in the tank and um, you're going to get to, you're going to watch to see what the, uh, the fish do. Okay. All right. All right, now I haven't fed them all day. Sorry about the light. You know, these things are really dumb. So I've got several of them on still clinging to the glass. So I'm going to grab that turkey baster. Like they're seriously dumb. All right. <sighs> Yeah, they're going nuts for it. I could look at the puffers down the bottom. The hunting. What? Yeah. The puffers are hunting. Yeah, the puffers are hunting. The killifish are going crazy. The they're all over them, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, look, 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 this one. There's like a breeding pair and like two of them running after them. Oh my gosh, it's funny. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Just for the heck of it, let's find a few more. All I'm doing is a turkey baster and the exact same thing that. You know that I showed you. Mm 
not quite as clean water, but okay. there's, there's a bunch more in here. There sure are. So that's a pretty good size food. Yes, it is. Adults, um, you so, know. So some of the, well, some of the adult, like it depends. There's different types of the, them in here. There's some of the adults are really, really big. Um, but then there's like some that are really tiny, and I, yet I know they they've reached sexual maturity because they're mating. Right. So, um, I'm, I have, I don't, I have more than one species of scud. There's a mix. Ooh, look at them. You got right in the way of it. I'm sorry. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, and you know, sometimes it's not always the cleanest water. Um, and that's okay because the plants feed off of the any detritus that I put in there with it. Right. Yeah. Nice. I don't try to, I don't try to uh, like, normally I don't remove the scuds in a completely sterile um, water right. environment. I, yeah. I mean, it's mostly clean, but it, you know, I don't, if there's like some detritus or a little bit of algae or moss or like, you know, just a little bit of like particles and organic particles in the water, I, uh, I, I just yeah, put it put in. That right in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Feeds it all. So it, right. I mean, and it, it, it's never murky the water ever. And that promotes microfauna. In, in the tank as well. Yeah. It does. Okay, so what we're seeing is we're seeing fish feed naturally the way they would if they were in the wild. They they spot something and dart after it. It's mm -hmm. not like they're putting a bunch of dead stuff on the top that floats down. These are living organisms that are... Uh, creating the chase they are and you you know i don't have to put too many of them but these scuds are like they're they they're all over now these 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 particular scuds that i that i threw in there you know it's an it's a foreign environment for them so right. you know they are going to have a, a survival instinct but they're at a clear disadvantage because the pea puffers and the killifish are waiting for them right okay. And, uh, and now they know that these things have come into the tank. And so all of a sudden they're, especially with this tank, very occupied. And that means they're not picking on each other. They're not picking on, you know, other species within the tank, including species that are more peaceful. They're occupied by hunting. Yeah, they're obviously looking around. Yes. Trying to, trying to find food. And every once in a while they, like, they, like, and if you, I wish like you could see spots of a dart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what happens is sometimes as they're hunting and they do hunt in packs, um, they unearth one of the like, you know, poorly hidden uh, scuds, and then I'll, and and then they all like go and after. Everybody's it. on it, right? Right. So, it's it's this is a fun fun tank to watch. It is what it is definitely my favorite. Okay, now you just put some of those in there. How mm -hmm. how how often do you feed that tank? Um, oh, oh my God, the killifish just not killifish. Uh, my um, <laughs> coolie loach just grabbed one. He went right at it. Um, I didn't even know coolie loaches ate scuds. <laughs> um, I don't actually. Well, this because this tank is semi-aggressive. I do tend to put more stuff in the tank for them to eat but it's usually snails like if you look closely at the substrate oh, oh he just grabbed one he got one see this guy he got it he, oh yeah now they're all picking it apart do you see that yeah 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 now they're all picking it apart they're like velociraptors yep yep <laughs> it's it, like they literally tear these things apart and they can do it because they have these beaks but right Sorry, I got distracted. Um, easily get distracted with this tank. Uh, I don't have to feed this tank. There's enough living organisms in this tank that they would be very well pre 
occupied. But because there's, uh, you know, some, uh, you know, because I want to balance the aggression in this tank, I actually end up feeding them quite often. But most of the time, it's just simply snails. Like there's a complete snail graveyard. Oh, yeah, there's, <laughs> I can, I'm literally, I'm close by so I can see them better, but I'm, I'm watching them tear apart their, these scuds. Like I see two, one of them just grabbed a couple over there, et cetera. But so the snail, I mostly feed snails and the pea puffers eat the snails, no problem. The killifish eat the snails as well, which is something I didn't know until I observed it. And that's when I added them to the tank. Um, I observed it and then I added them to the tank because I figured they would eat the, you know. And then the coolie loaches go in after the um, killifish and the pea puffers and they just kind of scavenge the uh, rest of the meat, if you will. Right. So everything is out in the open there. Yes. They're not self-conscious. They're not hiding from you. They're, oh, no. they're out acting very, behaving very naturally and normally. Oh, looking, yeah. Looking for food. They've looking never shown little any animals. fear. They've never shown any fear. Um, and it, even when I'm not, um, like, even when we're not filming um, and feeding, even when I'm not actively feeding them, there's like, there's no, I, every time I pass by, there's like, you know, Mo the majority of them look hanging out on the, on the glass waiting for food they're not shy at all um and the other residents in the tank they don't hide either which is a good thing <laughs> well they're patrolling too i mean they're they're all over the tank looking yep they certainly are um the killifish tend to chase each other a bit i think they're all males but um they uh, leave the pea puffers alone. It's almost like, you know. Oh, they, they do, don't they? Yeah. You know, they're almost like the two don't really, you know, they're, they don't really acknowledge them very much. You know, one of the things I've noticed about fish is if you have fish from completely different regions, like different continents, they'll, mm -hmm. act, like, they'll act like the other one doesn't exist. They, Interesting. They don't recognize it. And they have no behavioral understanding of it. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to add some more scuds. Because it's fun to watch. I don't even need to put that many in. I just want to show you uh, more things for them to chase. Um, that I, is so cool. Yeah. I didn't realize. I mean, I guess that makes sense. You know, I, I love these animals. I don't, you know, there are a lot of people who, you know, go out of their way to discover, you know, put same species together and these beautiful, including up to plants and environment and there's and different sure. biotypes. A biotype, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, and I'm sure someday I'll, I'll, I'll attempt it, but I, I'm really more looking at, I really, really when I make display tanks, it's more about the aesthetics. And, um, right. and then also the ecosystem. Uh, actually, well, you've got fish there from Asia, mm -hmm. South America, and Africa. I, yeah, well, I, I even have a fish here that's uh, native to the U.S. as well. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 And uh, nice. Yeah, I mean, they. Uh, what a great tank. It is. It's so much fun to watch, and it's um, there. Yeah, I've got. I've and got it's an easy tank. tank to add fish to. It is. It is. Um, it wasn't challenging, like people kept saying it would be. Right. I do see some fin nips a little occasionally on the killifish. Not bad. Um, and I think it has more to do with them being aggressive and them chasing each other because the pea puffers are pretty indifferent. Yeah, you yeah, see those right. two? Yep. Oh, see yeah. Those two yeah, it's two males, isn't it? I think there's three of there's three fish. I think they're all three of them are males, actually. Uh -huh. So um I don't I'm glad I don't have a female on there. They probably kill each other. <laughs> in the meantime, all they do is just sort of chase each other around the tank every once in a while. 
particularly around feeding time, you know, resources, but it's not to the point where they'll kill each other. And they're certainly not afraid. I mean, they just, if the tank yeah, is large, exactly. yeah. they just find their own, they find their own spot. Well, thank you, EJ. That's delightful. You're welcome. What okay. fun. <laughs> so we're raising food yes. and eating food. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's, that's really what it's all about is being able to feed these these foods and EJ does such an amazing job of raising cultures of live foods. So thank you again. Thank you. Delightful. I love it. Bye for now. Goodbye. Bye.